Special Great Day Live. We are taking a look at how Hospice Health is supporting Kentuckians, and we're going to take a look at a recent expansion that they've had in Elizabethtown. Reporter L. Bottom has more on their services and how the Pace Center is helping to fulfill their mission. Hospice Health has been in our community for over 45 years and of course things have changed over the years and now we're in a brand new space here in E-Town. It's their new Pace Center which is going to be a hub for all things care. Today I'm here with CEO David Cook and congratulations on 45 years. That is really, really remarkable. And so tell me about your humble beginnings and you know where we are today. Yeah, so 45 years ago um, community uh, volunteers came together and said there's a better way to care for people who are facing serious illness. Mm -hmm. And out of that, hospice uh, was born in our community. And so over the years, um, just from a group of wonderful individuals and just employees that over the years have been so focused on caring for patients and families and doing what's needed. It's just been amazing. Mm -hmm. Through that time though, we've really seen community needs change yeah. and we've tried to adapt to those and that's what we're doing now. But we've also seen where we've expanded from that core hospice service mm -hmm. to palliative care, helping people who are facing serious illness who aren't eligible for hospice or don't fit in a hospice hospice bucket right. and so we're serving um, palliative care um, throughout the 41 counties in our service area and then we also have our courageous kids program and that really was from the start yeah. but it's so important to this community and it's unique not every place has a program that's focused on palliative care mm -hmm. and hospice services for kids and so it's been just a wonderful program to have available for our community mm -hmm. but today looking at this next phase how do we help people who are facing serious illness mm -hmm. and not every one fits in a traditional hospice box and so that's where pace I think was a logical next step for us right. is finding a way to help people facing serious illness in a broader context yes and so we are at the pace center it's in Elizabethtown and so how is this just going to be a key figure in your expansion plan yeah so I think it's so important um, so much of what we've done for years has been about bringing a holistic approach to care really looking at what are the needs of that individual and hearing from the individual and their family mm -hmm. what's most important to you so now we're taking that also with providing care wherever you call home mm -hmm. up to a new place and that's PACE services where we're helping people maintain independence so that they can stay in their home with loved ones yeah. for as long as they can. And so PACE is that wraparound service that really meets all of those needs and supports that individual so that they can live their best life with those that they love. Yes, and so the Pace Center is really your one-stop shop for all of those different services. So what it's gonna be housed here? Yeah, so really this is kind of like the hub of care. So not this is not necessarily a destination of care, it is the hub of care. So we're providing care to six counties around the Elizabethtown area. We're really excited to provide that uh, support to the community, but inside the Pace Center, there'll be the ability for participants, uh, which is what individuals are called who are part of PACE. So participants will come to the PACE Center, they'll enjoy a light breakfast, a hot lunch, socialization, games, but also primary care, mm -hmm. therapy to help them maintain their independence and just a community of support that wraps around them that's engaged. But also coming out of this center will be support to help them live in their home mm -hmm. and helping them support and stay where they want to stay. Again, with loved ones and engaged in the community, maintaining their independence, mm -hmm. uh, value and dignity. Yeah, which is so important, of course. So we're actually gonna get a tour of this coming up later in the show, but to get some more information and keep up to date with all things Hospice, go to hospicehealth.org.